Hello friends, welcome to Suresh Agarwal's Mathematics Shortcuts. Yet another very very interesting video and uh, you know uh, when I talk about interesting, mathematics can only be interesting when you practice it. Okay, so without practice there is nothing. If you watch somebody else performing it for you, that is not your practice. So whatever I tell you in this video, do practice this for one hour, two hour, three hours and I am sure the concept will be as strong as it gets right so what is the most common thing which the junior students face they don't know the tables right and that is what i am going to simplify in this particular video for all my dear students and believe it or not after watching the complete video and practicing for two three hours you will be through with any table from one one that is 11 to 9, 9 that is 99. So any number between that you will be able to write the table very very comfortably. So watch the entire video okay and if you have not clicked the subscribe button till now what are you doing friends come on click the subscribe button and click the bell shaped icon so that you keep on getting all the notifications on your mobile for your ready reference and immediate watching okay. So let's see how the concept goes. I'm going to simplify everything for you. Uh, you know, you will be able to write the table without any difficulty. And some of these tables are amazing, amazing. The results are going to astonish you. Right. So let's talk about two digit numbers. For single digit, you know, most of the students are okay with like table of 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? But when it comes to two digit numbers, students fumble there. Okay. Next video will be on dodging tables. So if you have this concept, strong then the dodging tables also will not trouble you anymore in your life so there is a general rule you know when we are talking about a two digit number i will demonstrate the rule first and then tell you what extra things you can add to that to uh, you know get to another different method okay so watch suppose i need to do the table of uh, maybe let's take 13 right now table of 13 Everybody knows the table of 1 and table of 3. Now this is general rule. What, what am I telling you is a general rule that applies to the table of any number from 11 to 99 for writing the table. Okay. So if I know the table of 1 which everybody knows is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Right. And 3. The table of 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27 and 30. We all know these two tables, right? Now, whenever these two digits are single digits, then no problem at all. 1 and 3, 13. 2 and 6, 26. 3 and 9, 39. Up till here, there is no problem because these are all single digits. When it comes to double digit, either here or here or both, then we have to make a small correction. What will you do? Just separate out these digits like this and add them to these digits. And this digit is going to remain the same. So now 4 plus 1, 5 and the 2, 6, uh, 5 plus 1, 6 and the 5, 6 plus 1, 7 and the 8, 7 plus 2, 9 and the 1, 8 plus 2, 10 and the 4, and finally 9 plus 2, 11 and the 7, and 10 plus 3, 13 and the 0 and you get the table of 13. Now this general rule actually applies to all numbers from 11 to 99. If you know the table of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 9, you can write any table. Should I show you one more? Okay. Which is, which is the other table which the students struggle in uh, after 13? Even number tables are a little bit easier. So I will take odd number tables. Let's take 17. Okay. The table of 17. So the table of 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. The table of 7, 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, then 49, then 56, then 63 and then 70. Now this is single digit 1, 7 doesn't bother me. Now here we have the double digits. So let's write the double digits now. Let's get rid of this. 
we have the double digits so i am going to use these numbers add them and get my first digit so 2 plus 1 3 and the 4 3 plus 2 5 and the 1 4 plus 2 6 and the 8 5 plus 3 8 and the 5 6 plus 4 10 and the 2 7 plus 4 11 and the 9 8 plus 5 13 and the 6 9 plus 6 15 and the 3 and finally 10 plus 7 17 and the 0 easy right writing this table is giving me the natural numbers so it becomes all the more easier but suppose i don't have a 1 here now i'll take a bigger number uh how about taking a number in 30s 40s 50s 60s whatever say let's take it um, in uh, 30s okay uh suppose i need to write 38 table now 38 times table is again going to be a tough job let's start start from the table of 3 and the table of 8 so 3 6 9 12 see see how my how am i writing this 15 21 no not 21 this is 18 right i forgot my own tables <laughs> so 18 and then 21 and then 24 27 and then 30 see we have two digit numbers here now table of 8 is 8 then a 16 then a 24 then 32 then 40 and then 48 then 56 and then we have 64 then we have 72 and finally we have the 80 now what do i do with the double digit numbers both here and here i have double digit numbers doesn't still bother me you know why because what i can do here is okay let's see the single digits 3 and 8 38 this is fine enough no problem here i will separate out the first digit like this and now i will add it to the first digit here up till here there is no problem because the, here we have single digits so 6 plus 1 7 and the 6 9 plus 2 11 and the 4 now what do i do after this after this i will take only the last digit here like this and add the middle digits now watch 1 2 plus 3 5 and the 2 1 5 plus 4 9 and the 0 1 now here is the problem i am getting a 12 so i'll write 8 8 is pretty obvious 8 plus 4 is 12 so i'll write the 2 and i'll add the 1 to this number so i'll get a 2 likewise here i have single digit no problem 2 6 6 and then we have 2 Again, we are getting a ten, two-digit number, right? So four, so six plus four, ten, zero, and I'll increase this by one, so three, and then again two-digit number, so two, seven plus seven is fourteen, four, and this becomes three, and finally three, zero plus eight is eight, and the zero. Now a little bit of because I have taken a big number there, and that is why the rule changed. But you need to be smart, and you need to make the kids smarter. you need to know, uh, tell them the complete thing you know when you get double digit numbers how do you handle those numbers so this is the general rule for writing the tables now if you understand the general rule you can actually experiment with this and get to some of the different methods through which you can derive your own rules i'll show you how see now suppose there is a number which ends in uh, let's take uh, what um one suppose you are writing the 21 times table okay now see the rule and you are going to surely surely enjoy this suppose i write the table of 2 first and then i will write the table of 1 now what happens with table of 2 it's the the multiple of 2 we all know 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 and 20 and the table of 1 is pretty obvious 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 now if you watch here carefully you don't have to do actually anything there why because 2 1 21 4 2 42 6 3 63 8 4 84 all single digit numbers even if you have a double digit number here doesn't affect my answer so 10 5 105 
then 12 6 126 14 7 147 168 189 and what about the last one now here you need to be careful don't write 2010 you you have a two digit number here so add the middle digits and that becomes 210 the tables ending in 21 is all the more beautiful and all the more easier let me show you some more so suppose i have to take um, say 41 so i how will i do i'll start writing 4 so 4 8 12 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36 and 40 and the table of 1 we all know 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So you don't need to do anything. See 41, this is 82, this is 123. Here if you have a double digit it doesn't change my answer. Okay. So 123, you have a single digit here just keep on writing 164, 205, 246, 287, 328, 369 and finally you have a two digit number. So add the middle ones. Okay. So 4, 0 plus 1 is 1 and the 0. Now you want me to write one more, two more. The rule will work for all numbers from 21 to 91. So simplification. See, suppose you have to write 71. Now even if you don't write these steps, you can write the table directly. You know how? Suppose you have to write 7 times table, right? So 7, 1, 14, 2, 21, 3, 28, 4, 35, 5, 42, 6, then 49, 7. See, we are getting the table now. This is actually the table of 71. I'm not doing anything. I'm just writing 7 times table and putting the natural number in front of that. So 49, then 56, 8, then 63, 9. And finally 71, we all know is 710 10 times, right? We all know. So we don't have to even remember that. See, 71 times table, I've done nothing. Okay, one more and then we'll uh, get across to the next one. So this is 81. Now can we do 81 directly? 8, 1, 16, 2. See, 16 is second multiple, so 2. 24, 3, 32, 4, 40, 5, 48, 6, 56, 7. 64, 8, 72, 9 and 81 means 810. There we go. Where is the problem in tables? It's just about uh, you know understanding things and having the correct thing in the mind and thinking positively about the concept. This is how the teachers also need to work. So I'll show you one more thing. Tables are wonderful you know. You keep on finding the patterns in tables. You will keep on finding something new. And you can actually make it uh, so much of fun for the students to learn all these tables. But we pressurize them in the school. Oh, tomorrow you have to narrate uh, uh, the table of 14 to me. If you don't uh, do it, see. And uh, students keep on cramming, cramming and cramming. They don't know the logic behind that. Right. Let's take up some numbers which are very easy to handle. How about taking 19? Now see numbers ending in 9. Again, very, very interesting. Very interesting. Now, start with this number 1 and leave a gap of 1 more than this number. Now, if this is 1, I will leave a, leave a gap of 2. I will start with 1 but leave a gap of 2. So, after 1, 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 2, 7, 7 plus 2, 9, 9 plus 2, 11, 11 plus 2, 13. 13 plus 2, 15, 15 plus 2, 17, 17 plus 2, 19, that's it, up to 19 because this is 19, right? I left a gap of 2 and the rest of it is so easy. Just start with 9 and write the counting in reverse order. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0 and check friends, is it the table of 19? And you will be really, really surprised, you know, numbers ending in 9 are just nothing, just nothing. Now, can we follow this logic and write other tables? Let's check. Can we write 29? Start with 2, right? And since this is 2, 
I will leave a gap of 3. Okay. So 2, 2 plus 3, 5, 5 plus 3, 8, 8 plus 3, 11, 11 plus 3, 14, 14 plus 3, 17, 17 plus 3, 20, 20 plus 3, 23, 23 plus 3, 26 and 29. I'll, I'll go only up to 29. The table is 29 times table, right? And start with 9, write the counting in reverse order 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And nothing can be wrong in this table, friends. Nothing can be wrong in this table. Now tell me where is the problem? Now somebody asks you what is 19 times 7. Can't we do this directly? So easy. Okay. Now let's do some more ending in 9. So let's do 49. So we'll start with a 4 and leave a gap of 4 plus 1, 5. So 4 plus 5. 9, 9 plus 5, 14, 14 plus 5, 19, 19 plus 5, 24, 29, 34, 39. I have to go up to 49. So 44, 49. Right? And start writing 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Got it? Let's do 69. Start with 6, have a gap of 7. 6 plus 7, 13. 13 plus 7, 20, 27, 27 plus 7 is 34 and 34 plus uh, 7 is 41, 41 plus 7 is 48, 48 plus 7 is uh, 55 and 55 plus 7 is 62, 62 plus 7 is 69, then we go up to 69, right? And start writing 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, got it? One more. Say 79, 7, gap, gap of 8, so 7 plus 8, 15, 15 plus 8, 23, 23 plus 8, 31, 31 plus 8, 39, 39 plus 8, 47, 47 plus 8, 55, 55 plus 8, 63, 63 plus 8, 71 and 79. See, you have to ultimately reach this number 79, okay? Now start writing 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. No problem at all. You don't even need to check whether this is correct or not. One more, maybe 89. 99 is pretty easy, right? <laughs> so 8 and a gap of 9. So 8 plus 9, 17. 17 plus 9, 26. 26 plus 9, 35. 35 plus 9, 44. 44 plus 9, 53. 53 plus 9, 62. 62 plus 9, 71. 71 plus 9, uh, 80. And 80 plus 9, 89. There we go. And start 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. See? Now, even if you don't take numbers ending in 1 or numbers ending in 9, you have patterns in every table. Every table. Now, I want you to work on this, you know. And especially mathematics teachers who are watching this video, please make it simple for your students rather than complicating it for them, giving them... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 tables to learn. And if they don't learn, you will punish them. Please don't do it. Let's simplify it for them. Let's make it joyful for them. Only then they will realize, oh, tables are not difficult. It is just about understanding the things. Right? So in my next video, I am going to take up the dodging tables. And that's where most of the students are going to you know, face problems, dodging tables, you, you conduct oral tests, right? And uh, is it possible? Can, can, can it be possible for a child to tell 17 times 7, a class 2 child? Why do we want them to cram up things? Why can't we give them a pen and paper and say, no multiplication, tell me what is 17 times 7? And tell them how to get it. And that's what I'm going to do in my next video. Okay. So please share this lovely video with all your friends so that, you know, they get into this habit. Uh, tables up to 99 is not going to be a difficult task. So friends, if you like this video, do share it. That is really, really important. Uh, I want a lot of shares from all of you in this video. So do lots of practice. Uh, thanks for watching this video and all the best.